Hey guys, Barbara here. Look, I'm using all three of my sourdough starters to make bread today. How would you like to be able to make a sourdough loaf in five days? You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my mother. Hi, everybody. It's not shy, okay? <laughs> Joe and I are working hard for these days. Say hello to my guest, Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> Off sales. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Today I've got Jory because Joe's sick. And I'm leaving. And, yeah, Jory's sick. Best kid. And we're honorable major aqua little one. Attack! Where shall we start? Because it all looks so good. Let's start with this bread. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show with my sister. <laughs> In five days? Well, because we have to make the starter. So oh. you, it's not going to take me five days because I've had the starters made. But we have to make the starter. So let's start with day one. Today is day one. It's March the 24th. It would have been my mom's birthday. So let's start. One cup of regular all-purpose flour. One cup of good water, okay? Purified water, distilled water, but not water from the faucet. Filtered water. You just want to go ahead and stir the mixture up until everything is well incorporated. You want to get rid of all the flour lumps, okay? Now when it's all smooth, just go ahead and cover it up loosely with some plastic wrap and then put it somewhere warm. Today is Monday, March the 26th. I started this thing on mommy's birthday, Saturday, March the 24th. Let me tell you what happened. Remember I put it on top of the fridge? It was too hot up there and the thing went rancid. How do I know? Last night when I checked on it, it smelled like vomit. If it smells like vomit, leave it alone, okay? Womp womp. That one went bad because on top of the fridge was too warm. When I say if it smells putrid, leave it alone. I don't mean leave it alone and use it. I mean throw it away, okay? So I started the new one and I just made sure that I didn't put it under the heater vents or anything like that. And I just left it on the counter near the sink and covered it up loosely. And now 24 hours later, it's time to feed it. Now to feed the starter, it's very simple. All you have to do is pour off half of the mixture and toss it down the sink or throw it in the trash. And then to that, add half a cup of all-purpose flour and half a cup of the filtered water again. So you do that like every 24 hours or so. I say every 24 hours or so because if you're doing it like at 10 in the morning and you've forgotten you're doing it at you know midday, you're still gonna be fine. But don't do it like start this morning and then do it tomorrow night. So just about every 24 hours or so, all you gotta do is just throw off some of the mixture and then add back in half a cup of flour and half a cup of water. And then at day three, you can do fun stuff with it. Take a look. Today is March the 28th. Remember, I started over again on the 25th. So the 26th is day one, 27, day two, 28, day three. I gave this a stir. Just now look at all these beautiful bubbles in here. This is actually ready, but I want to feed it one more time because I want to show you guys what to do when you're feeding your starter, you know, for the rest of the life of the starter. When you're tossing off half of it, I want to get to about a cup. Get about a cup of starter. This is going to be what's left behind that you're going to feed, right? Usually with a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of the good water, the filtered water. So let me set that aside. I'll do that in a minute. But I want to show you guys what you can make with the stuff that you were going to throw away. You can make sourdough waffles, all right? So one cup of starter, one egg, half a cup of milk, um, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter. This is a quarter teaspoon of salt and one cup of flour. Toss it all together in here. Mix it just like a batter and just put it in a waffle iron and you will get some beautiful crunchy waffles. You don't have to separate egg yolk and egg white and all that stuff like when you're making um, fresh waffles, not sourdough waffles, all right? So just wanted to show you something that you could do. I'm gonna go ahead and feed that now and then Friday, I'm gonna make bread. I'm gonna feed it another day only because I don't have time to make the bread tomorrow, but you could actually make bread on day four, all right? But I'm gonna do it on Friday. On Thursday, I went to LA to take care of some business, so I put my starter in the fridge to put it to sleep. When I came home Thursday night, I dumped all the contents of the jar out into a large bowl, and then to that, I added one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of filtered water. Uh, I stirred it up until everything was smooth, and then again, I covered it loosely with the plastic wrap and just left it on the counter while I slept. Now it's Friday morning, and it's time to make bread, so this is what I've done. Just pour out one cup of the starter into my measuring cup and then put it back in the jar. To this, I'm adding half a cup of flour and half a cup of filtered water because I'm gonna make the mother. 
So what I have left behind is actually called the sponge. I've proofed, I've proofed the, um, the sponge. So now it's time to make bread and it's very simple. Two, this two, or, this is about two cups of starter that's left behind. It might not be quite, might be a little bit more, but it's pretty close. To that, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil. No, a lot of people don't put the oil, but it's, I, I put the oil because I want my bread to be a little bit softer. And two tablespoons of regular white sugar. Now the rest is easy. Just add flour until a dough forms. So you just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and you make a nice soft sticky dough like this, set it aside to rise, put it in the oven, but don't turn the oven on. It's gonna take anywhere from about eight to 14 hours to rise. Now some starters are a little bit lazier than others. This should not be lazy because it was freshly made. It's not gonna be as pungent as the stuff that I've had in the fridge since 2015, but it's gonna be really, really good, all right? So after the bread rises, after the dough rises, I should say, re-knead, and I always make it into a loaf because when I make it round, if I don't have the perfect size round pan, it, the bread kind of loses its form. And I don't like that. So I make it into a loaf. And to make a loaf, all I do is kind of roll it into a rectangle. And then I roll it up like a towel, pinch the bottom close, pinch the end close, drop it into a greased loaf pan, and then put it back in the oven. The oven's not on. And just let it rise for about three hours. And it's going to look like this. And then just go ahead and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until it's golden and brown. Now I do a little trick that I never show you guys on camera. I just realized that I don't show this. When it's done, I flip the loaf out of the pan and I, I put it upside down in the pan. So it's kind of crooked. And then I just bake the bottom. So the bottom gets crispy too because I like the tops and the bottoms to be crispy. Now because this is sourdough, you don't have to put that pan of water in the oven. You don't have to spray it with water or anything because the crust is just going to come out crispy because it's sourdough. So it's really simple, right? I really wanted to make this video simple for you guys because I don't want you to say, oh my God, it was too much, Barbara, you made so much mistake in the other video. I showed all, all my mistakes in the other video because I want you guys to see that it was a process of learning for me too. So now it's simple. Start with day one, make your starter for three to five days, and then bake your bread. And pretty much you can have bread every week. Now, feed the starter every week or so when it's new for like the first month, but after that, you can go a while. I've gone six months without feeding the starter. When you open it, oh my goodness, you see that hooch on the top, that alcohol. It smells so good. I don't even like drinking, but it smells good. That's some bread wine right there. <laughs> no, don't drink that, okay? You stir it back. I don't throw off the hooch. I stir it back in there. And then you feed it. And that's all you have to do to make sourdough bread, okay? Now, y'all see me tasting? It was so good. This is only bread that I can process right now with all my stomach issues. So I love making this at least once a week. And because I'm making three loaves, I'm going to give away two to the neighbors. You know, wouldn't you like to be my neighbor? <laughs> Don't I sound like Mr. Rogers? Yeah, so I'm going to show you at the end of this video the three loaves that I made today from starter one, two, and three. The three is the last one that I just recently made. And we'll see which bread reacted better which starter reacted better right thanks for watching guys i love you so much for all your support shout out to my sponsors without you none of this would be possible i pray a hundred full return on your investment into my life don't forget to visit my website bearpantryshow.com to pick up your merchandise because i am selling merchandise to help you know support the show um i look forward to your comments i'll see you guys again real soon bye Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Bear Pantry Talk, for reviews and family vlogs. Also, follow us on social media. All links are in the description below.